about 350 bucks, I'm gonna buy a new saddle. For you. So I was looking around on Facebook marketplace. I don't even know how it came to me, but I saw that they have, uh, this guy has a Saddleman roll sofa, I think it is called. Anyways, I did a quick search for it. I saw that it's about $600. He wants about 350 bucks. It looks in good condition. And uh, I wanted to get it just to put it here on the road glide. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So here we are a few days later since I picked up the saddle and uh, so far I like it. I do want to show you a little bit of the specs right here from the Saddleman website. And by the way, I have ordered for them in the past. The customer service is fantastic. Usually takes, obviously, if you buy a new, like I did for my Rogue King, it takes a little bit for them to put it together and all that. But they do give you discounts. I believe they have a military discount. So I think I got some last time. So check them out. But I'm telling you, so far I like it. Here's the saddle. And first of all, I got it for my Rogue Glide. But if you see here in the specs, 2008 to 2023 touring model so that is a lot that's a lot of motorcycles right there so that's kind of exciting because i was thinking about switching my motorcycle in the future and if i do obviously i could continue to keep the saddle like i said they have different models this one was 598 that's kind of like the price that i see all around the place so if you go to any other places like jp cycle or Rizilla or something i saw kind of like the same prices right there right they do have different models as well and keep in mind that mine does not have the little slit for the back Rest, which I was kind of disappointed about that. I don't know if it's something that I could do in the future or not, but something to kind of keep in mind. But if you see here, materials, you know, you could go brown plus 25. Obviously, as you build this saddle, if you go to the website, you build it specifically for you, you're going to have different things that you could do right there, right? You could get a brown light plus 25. And as you can see, there's other choices in there as well. And, and again, whatever you pick is going to increase the price. If you come here to the stitches, you have some choices there as well. And then you have some choices for the logo as well. That's kind of cool, guys because I tell you what, if you have a bike with a specific color and you want to kind of make it like more custom and you know, you want the logo, I don't know, red because your bike is red, maybe you could do something like that. In this case, you could do black, gold, white and the same color or the stitch color. You can see the saddle right there, how it looks. If you come down here, there's a lot of technology that comes into the saddles nowadays. I do have a similar saddle on my Roking, but again, the biggest thing here with this saddles from Saddleman, it's going to be this, the saddle gel technology that they have. And again, it says scientifically proven that this amazing product would increase the amount of time you spend on a motorcycle. The saddle gel has the ability to come forward to all body shapes, sizes, contour to reduce pressure points and promote blood flow, which minimize hot spots associated with pain and discomfort. So that's kind of like a big thing about it. I tell you what, the saddles usually feel a little bit hard when you get them. The same thing happened with my other saddle. But when you put time on it, when you put, you know, a couple thousand miles on it, it should fit a little bit better. I'm kind of happy that it's actually used because the guy put about a year into the saddle. So that means that the saddle 
Machado should be a lot more comfortable that when it comes brand new, of course. And keep in mind that you're going to have lots of different choices in here, as you see right here. Obviously, you have your standard one, but you know, you see this right here. This one has a backrest. In this case, this one is 1997 to 2007. And again, you're looking at about almost close to $1,000. But once again, look at everything that you have here, right? You have a backrest right there. And then you have, I believe this has to be, and I believe this has to be hitting right there as well. And as you can see here in the title, it says heated raw fod, which has to be so nice. But again, you definitely have a lot of different choices right there. Let me give you a look how it looks here on my Rogue Glide. And I'll tell you, this is going to be just a first impression. This is just a first look, nothing more than that. Again, I just got it a couple days ago. But first of all, I like how it looks. It looks really nice in the motorcycle. It does. It gives it like a cool look of being a touring bike because obviously it's a touring bike. But also at the same time, it doesn't look bad. A lot of the touring bikes, saddles typically are oversized and they don't look as good as this. So it looks really nice. The passenger side is enormous. If you compare this to your regular saddle that comes in the motorcycle, you could tell that you have a lot more space. But once again, it's not super bulky or anything like that. It looks really nice. kind of has a slick design, but you have a lot of space to accommodate a passing. Like I said, the stitches look great. The look that it gets to the motorcycle is fantastic. Now, like I said, this one right here does not have the slit to put a backrest, but you do have lumbar support. When you sit down on it, you do feel the support. It's not just like having a backrest. So it is not the same thing. A backrest obviously gives you lots of more support, but it's not like having a regular saddle either. This is kind of like in the middle right there where you do get a little bit of support. It does feel a little bit hard, but hard is always a good thing because usually if the saddle is soft and you go out for a long ride, typically what happens is that you feel everything and it's just uncomfortable. A saddle that is typically hard, it's just a little bit better and more comfortable for long-term riding. And that's kind of what I have noticed. And that's kind of what you see a lot in the market when it comes specifically to saddle man. The front of the saddle is a little bit slimmer. So when you put it on, you're going to see more of your tank. So if you have any scratches or anything like that, it may be something that is visible. And keep in mind that you have all the accessories. If you have a tour pack, you could get the setup that matches the saddle. Again, you have a backrest. So you do have a lot of different capabilities and a lot of different choices. I got to tell you, so far I like, and one last thing, it does feel like you're a little bit higher and you're a little bit pushed forward. Nothing crazy, nothing to be concerned about, but I do feel a little bit higher and I do feel just a little tiny forward. So a lot of times people People have bars that are specifically for that and anything could change it you know it could be a possibility that you may have to like adjust your bars or something like that but again i don't think it's a big deal at all but i did how to readjust my mirrors because again you know the position of my body changed so anyway i like it so far i think it's going to be good stay tuned we're going to have more videos and as always gotta send control